Hello everybody, welcome. This is a channel where I talk about faith, encouragements, and anything uplifting or inspiring just to help us in our daily lives. I hope something that I say in this video may help you along. If you find in your heart someone that you may have some kind of conflict or friction with, and you want to make things right, you want to clarify any kind of maybe perhaps a mistake that you may have done or caused the other person any kind of harm emotionally physically or any sense and you just want to clarify how do you go about making that time or having the opportunity to um, have that difficult conversation with the other person just to clarify and hopefully make it beneficial for both parties and to be ultimately at peace you know i just there was a few examples that, um, that I came across that motivated me to make this video for all of you. And I hope that some of those examples may have, may help you along in your, um, if, you talk, if you think about somebody in your life right now that you just have that friction with right now. There's something uneasy, you know. I have a coworker that um, basically that um, somebody made a mistake and I participated in whatever that mistake was. I'm not going into details, but I knew that this other person was um, affected in a very, very negative way and it was pretty harmful for that person. So I wanted to have that opportune time eventually just to make things right and at peace and just to clarify perhaps the misunderstanding and all the assumptions that was going on in this scenario that I happened to be in the midst of. So I prayed and I said, God, let there just be some type of um, an opportunity for the right timing that hopefully that person and I myself may emotionally, mentally be at a good state of mind that we can have a good conversation that can hopefully um, be more at peace. And sometimes we might be a little scared, you know, we might be a little fearful of just confrontation with another, especially if you know that you are at fault in some way. I know myself, I, I hate confrontations. I don't like conflicts. Um, the way I was brought up in my family, we were always um, very quiet, very peaceful. My parents never fought in front of me. So I wasn't used to all this loud noise. That was my upbringing. But I, this person was very important to me, my coworker, and I wanted to really uh, make things right and just give my little two cents of clarifying this uh, mistake and misunderstanding that um, this person saw that, um, that caused harm to that person. So finally, a few weeks later after this happened, I did find the opportune time and I asked to speak with this person. We went aside and I, I, this person listened to what I had to say. I was able to share and explore all the different scenarios, why this happened, what was this cause. And my bottom line, my goal when I talked with this person was to apologize on the behalf of this other person involved and on myself making a mistake and not knowing that it was a mistake and also um, just to basically thank this person for uh, stepping in when, when they did. Um, that really helped out this whole big scenario. And with my apologies and with my thankful spirit, um, I was very humbling and my attitude was really loving, pure and good intentions. Uh, thankfully, this person took it in and I was able to give them a sincere hug and uh, I just meant every word and this person now, we're both at peace with each other and it was beneficial. But I took that chance because um, I really care for this person as a coworker and I wanted to make things right. Is there somebody in your life that you can think of right now that you want to make things right with, that you know that there may be some type of friction, some type of conflict, misunderstanding, you know, if that person, if it's not beneficial for both of you, then maybe you can just let it pass. You know, don't feel guilty about not um, having that difficult conversation with that person. Don't feel um, guilty in any sense, you know. But if that person is worth it to you, if you feel like it's going to be beneficial for the both parties and you want ultimate love and peace, 
and you want to just let go of any kind of resentment or bitterness in your heart, the poison of unforgiveness that might be brewing up inside, it may be worth it to you to just pray and ask God, God, you know, give me the right words to say. Ask for the Holy Spirit to speak through you if you don't even know what to say or how to go about it. But there may be a lot of misunderstandings and assumptions involved. They may have caused a lot of conflicts with you and the other person. That's normally the case. But I encourage you just to let love conquer all and just get over any kind of fear and hopefully things will be more in peace and harmony with you and this other person that you're just um, not at ease with. And I'd like to share with you in 1 John chapter 4 in the scripture, it says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. So I encourage all of you to have the power of love within you just to um, cast out any kind of fear that you may have of approaching this person and just to have hopefully a good conversation just to make your part at peace and just to, for you to have a good composure, um, have a loving spirit, a good attitude so this other person may see your sincereness and your kindness and um, your apologies if you are at fault in any way. You know, it's so hard sometimes when we get, you know, hard to get along with every individual for we have so many differences in our ways of our personality clashes or our genders or our upbringings, our culture. There's always something that we could just really have a big misunderstanding with. But I notice that if both of you are at a good place in your life right now, then it's that much easier to converse and to talk things out. But if both of you are not at a good place, or even if one of you is not at a good place, you know, if you're just in some kind of pain or not in good health, or there's so much going on in your life, or there's some turmoil going on with your family members, or you're with your job, and you're overly tired, whatever it may be, then you may want to think about just waiting and pausing before you talk with the other person and just wait for the time when you see this other person may be at a better place. I did have some kind, um, I shared in one of my videos, I harbored some type of bitterness and resentment with um, another person for a couple of years. This person was very, um, it was just like a barking dog. This person just lashed out at me um, regarding another close person actually that was in contact with. but. She yelled at me. I felt like I, w I was a garbage dump truck. Um, she was very toxic and vindictive in her words. But I know this person for many years and she has been in poor health for a few years and she was just deteriorating. So anything that was bugging her in her mind, she's the kind of person that speaks her mind, that's very vocal. And I used to take it up, take it in the past. But for some reason, the way she went about it um, this last time, it was just, I felt very attacked, you know? And it just triggered those emotions when I was um, three years old, back when I was a little girl, when that dog was, this ferocious dog was barking and chasing after my sister and I. And it just reminded me of that. So I was so hurt and it was really hard for me to let go and I could still hear her voice in my, in my mind and in my spirit. And I would just see her regularly throughout time. But my relationship with her was just not the same for a couple of years. Uh, I knew that it was on my part. I had to work on it somehow just to release that bitterness and, and the unforgiveness I had with this person. Well, finally, through time, and just working on my own issues and my own triggers. I released it and just asked God to help me in this scenario. And praise God, thankfully, um, I was able to let it go. And as time went by, we were able to, um, she had no idea what was going on. It was just more within me and my mindset. And um, I was able to forgive her. And now we're back in harmony and in peace. And my, my heart is more genuine towards her. And it's real because it's hard for me to fake anything. <laughs> so um, 
But this is a person that I did, I chose not to have a converse, that difficult conversation with resolving any kind of issue because she probably had no idea. She probably had no clue that I was harboring some type of resentment and unforgiveness for her because she wounded me so deeply, she had no clue. So I pray that you would have some type of, God would give you discernment today, wisdom and guidance through his spirit that if there's anybody in your mind, in your heart, that you just really, um, really need to give it to God and either you want to have that difficult conversation with them to have ultimate peace, let go of any kind of poison of resentment and unforgiveness within you. If you feel that it's going to be beneficial for both parties, I pray that God's Spirit may speak through you and give you the opportune, the right opportune time to talk with the other person. It says in Matthew 10, 20, that for it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. So sometimes we don't even know what to say. We don't even know how to go about when we talk, when we approach this person like, oh, can I talk with you? Do you have a minute? And if they're willing, then maybe you can meet up for coffee or whatever it may be and just go with a very humbling um, attitude and very apologetic because if you know that on your part you made a mistake somehow but the relationship is so worth it to you you want to make things right i pray that you may go in god's spirit you know whoever this person if they're always in your life somehow whether it's your spouse your husband or your wife your mother father your children um, any kind of family members or co-workers maybe neighbors um, it could be anybody but if you know you're gonna, they're going to constantly be in your life and there's no escape away from them and you really want to make things right, I pray that you may have that time to approach them and just to have that conversation and just to, um, you know, it helped me when I was able to say, I am sorry, I apologize and be genuine with my mistake, take ownership in that part and to thank them also at the end and hopefully that can be a lot more peace because i know that that happened with me um, with my coworker, and it is so nice when i go around at workplace when i come across this person to be able to have that genuine smile and that peace and then just to, if anything just to clarify the misunderstanding and the the, the scenario that has happened that this person happened to partake in I hope that there is something that I said in this video that might help you along to just think and ponder that, hmm, is it time for me to just step, step up and do the right thing, please and honor God, and just to find more peace and harmony with that other individual that you just don't feel right in your spirit with. For it says in Proverbs 10, 12, hatred stirs up conflict but love conquers over all wrongs, over all offenses. Love conquers. And I pray that you may believe in the power of God's love today and that he may fill you with his love, that he may um, humble your spirit and that he may give you the right opportune time. Be sensitive to the timing. And when the opportunity does come that you can meet with the other individual, I pray that you may be led through God's Spirit, that the Spirit may speak through you and that there may be peace and harmony with that. I'd like to share with you another little incident. Years back in my marriage with my husband, Andy, um, you know, there was a lot of uh, resentment on my part and I am not one to speak up because again, I don't like confrontations. I'm the one who, if he was to bother me in any sense, I would sweep everything under the rug. And over time, that rug became so enlarged. Every time I swept up um, any kind of um, resentment or bitterness or you know any wrongs, it would be hard for me to talk with uh, my husband at the time because I felt like he was going to attack me and just you know just um, yell back. And again, I would be triggered by that barking dog back when I was in three years old so you know being that peacemaker again I just try to avoid any kind of confrontation with him so as the years went by you know as some of you know I lived together with my mother and father-in-law for eight and a half years so you could just imagine a lot of resentments built up with that 
and he had his own issues, my husband, too, at that time. And I just didn't realize, I just felt like I was, uh, I tried to be a supportive wife, but I felt hurt a lot and wounded. And one day, after many years of being married to my husband, uh, we've been married now for 27 years, but one day I realized that I felt enlightened after watching this one TV program. I felt that I didn't feel loved or cherished by my husband in the, in the love language that I needed to feel or see. So I remember that I wrote out a letter to God regarding my husband and I wrote it out, all my feelings, and I really pray God, I really need to let Andy know of how I feel. He thinks everything is perfect in our marriage. He thinks everything is honky-dory, um, but it's not on my part. And it was just uh, not healthy for me emotionally or physically or in any way when we were just really drifting apart through time in our marriage. But when I had that compassion for him, when I chose to have, have more curiosity of you know why he acts in a certain way that um, I didn't care for, and I realized, you know, he was hurt and wounded when he was brought, brought, the way he was brought up by his parents. You know, he didn't feel worthy in their eyes in many different sense. And um, a, diff a lot of different other, if you go back in some of my videos, you may come across some of my, uh, what I shared in my relationship with my husband. But I prayed, I said, God, give me the opportune time, please, because I really need to let Andy know how I feel. And I remember I was up for it and we took a morning walk and I wanted to talk with him, but I just really didn't sense it was the right timing. So I let that day pass. And then next week, um, there was another time, but I felt, you know what, again, I didn't feel right in my spirit. Just go with your intuition, your gut feeling, you know, like when is the right time to talk to this person? Finally, one morning at my house in the dining room, you know, it was quiet, the kids were out of the house. And I said, you know, can I talk with you? And we had this quiet moment, just the two of us in the house. And I was able to share with him all my feelings. I even read to him the letter that I wrote to God. He was baffled. He was shocked, speechless. He just took it all in. And again, he thought our marriage was perfect. But I was able to share with him all my feelings because I wasn't able to in the past because, again, I thought he would be like that barking dog and just attack back and not really listen to me because through time and I began of our marriage um, I eventually lost my voice I felt like I couldn't speak up again I swept everything under the rug but praise God I was able to have that time to just clarify um, a lot of uh, maybe misunderstandings in the past between the two of us and he listened and the next day after for him processing and digesting everything that I shared with him then we took the steps, the, day, the steps of healing our marriage through faith and with God, His Spirit. God's Spirit spoke through me as I talked with Him and Andy just listened and listened. And um, we're able to take those little baby steps each and every day to heal our marriage. And now, years later that passed, our marriage is just thriving over and beyond. We're both at a very, very good, comfortable place in our life. We're both in our early 50s, so we're just very, very beyond happy. But I'm so glad I was able to release, um, you know, any kind of harbored resentment, bitterness, unforgiveness in my heart. And I'm glad I did have that difficult conversation with Andy. And God's spirit and his love overfilled me. And I just pray that for you to, that any kind of scenario, any kind of friction you may have again with that, certain individual, I pray that you may th make things right today and God's Spirit may truly speak to your heart and that you may come before a, a humble attitude and be ready to apologize if you need to, be ready to be appreciative and be thankful for the other person, be ready to just make things right if the relationship is worth it, that both of you can be at peace and that both of you can move forward and blossom in your relationship and make it thrive just the way how my husband and I are today. God bless you. I hope, I really hope that this video that I shared, something that I said makes sense. And just to clarify any misunderstandings with others, if it's really worth it to you, if that relationship 
you really want it to uh, make things right and for it to blossom in a good right way and if if anything just to know that love conquers all and don't get cave into our fears but with God all things are possible and your relationship with your friendship with any girls or co-workers or family members again if they are worth it to you let's be encouraged and take on that challenge to make things right today I'll see you next week and please cons consider to subscribe to my channel or let us always believe in hope and let us always have that cheer as we walk each and every day of our lives for God's glory. See you next week. Goodbye.